Hi everyone. Welcome to Professor Srinidhi's classes. Please like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. This video is about entrepreneurship. Qualities of an entrepreneur. Characteristics of entrepreneurship. When I say entrepreneur, a successful entrepreneur, we can talk about what are the qualities of a successful entrepreneur? What makes him successful? Are there any common qualities or skills? Do you have these qualities? Find out and if you have any of these qualities, comment in the section below. Starting with being an effective communicator means you should speak up. Not only that, there is verbal, non-verbal and written communication. Politicians, yes, you make a joke out of them. Memes, trolls, all kind of stuff. But they win elections again and again. Why? Effective communication. That's very important. A lot of background knowledge is required for that. A lot of hard work and constant practice is required. <laughs> yes, those who have done speeches, anchoring, you people can relate to me. Uh, a lot of speaking in front of mirror, your family, friends, like a deranged person. That's what it takes to be an effective communicator. Next quality is negotiation. Being an exceptional negotiator. Of course, it is a derivative of communication, but there are a lot of differences. The go-between guy, intermediary, moderator, mediator, mediatrix, troubleshooter, arbitrator, peacemaker. These are all the different roles. A lawyer, advocate, barrister represents one person, one party, and another lawyer represents the opposite. But negotiator represents both the parties, deals with them, and come to conclusion where both of them are happy in the end. The Colombian government and FARC, Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, had a long-standing battle of power in Cuba. Sri Sri Ravi Shankar Guruji was the peacemaker between them and the issues were resolved in 2015 and all of them agreed to follow Gandhian principle of non-violence. This is negotiation. Amazing, isn't it? A long-standing war was resolved within a short period of time An able negotiator. A team man. Everything cannot be done by a single person. Of course, it is a successful business or to run a large organization, to run a startup, you need a lot of people with different skill sets. So, an entrepreneur should be a team man as well as a team leader. David Robert Joseph Beckham. David Beckham. One of the most successful football players in the world and also captain of the English uh, football team. He is the first English player to win league titles in four different countries. England, Spain, USA and France. How? Not only he is an excellent player, a single person cannot achieve this. He is a good team man, a good team leader, a great captain. As Helen Keller once said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. An entrepreneur must be a risk taker. Yes, that's the quality we should require. Risk taker and also must take responsibility for the decisions he makes. Next quality is emotional quotient. EQ, you know like IQ, intelligence quotient. Now, there are a lot of different names to it emotional intelligence emotional leadership emotional intelligence quotient this measures the cognitive capability of a person this deals with the mental health which is very important nowadays especially after covid 19 crisis a lot of things are changed in the world and even a lot of imbalances are happening in one's emotions this is very important for an entrepreneur since he faces a lot of harsh situations and crises. So an entrepreneur's mind must be like an 
uh, what do you say impenetrable fortress very strong and must be at its best even during huge crisis fame position power all such kind of supplementary things but the main thing is the people customers clients and masses everything is run by them that is why one should always consider it as a service to the people and of course with it comes the riches there is a zulu saying people are people because of other people a lot of people think that uh, or let's say rather fearful that being an entrepreneur means uh, giving up everything and all the people closest to you and working 24/7 but no that's not true at all a very important quality of an entrepreneur is that he should have good rq that is relationship quotient entrepreneur should have clear inner sense trust forgiveness integrity hope and compassion to have good relationships with the people relationships with the people family friends clients customers and also common people and must have good relationship with them all only then he can connect with the people better so that uh, uh, that the needs and requirements are understood better an entrepreneur must be highly energetic person now when i say highly energetic it doesn't mean working all the time you see a lot of entrepreneur interviews they say we work a lot but they also say we take rest a lot too so being an entrepreneur uh, energetic entrepreneur means whatever you do you do it fully do it 100% do it 110% do your work must be proactive in whatever you do also take a break go rock climbing trekking riding fishing skydiving snorkeling have positive energy and come back to your work energetic do what you do fully entrepreneur should have good network of people his networking ability should be good he should know the right person for the right kind of job for example having a startup means all kind of people are involved entrepreneur must know the people from different aspects of the market like a market researchers business plan appropriate funding funders rights and registration of the company branding of the company to have a right partner or co-founder to the startup mentor all such people are involved such network is required to run a startup or company or even a large organizations why do you work why do you run a company do business have a startup there are a lot of answers to it it depends from person to person but the one thing which is common in all the levels in all the regions in all the professions it is money yes we hear a lot of people speaking against it but money is important it has become the primary requirement for humans so being an entrepreneur he must be very good at economics when you want to run a successful startup money is its food it is fuel to the engine and also note that uh, when you are successful a lot of people are there to rip off that so being highly knowledgeable in economics is very very important uplifting the people that is very important quality of entrepreneurs means those who work with you they are rewarded they are acknowledged a lot of jobs are created to a lot of people and also an entrepreneur must be unambiguous means very clear in his decision very straightforward in his actions this will give a lot of strength and positive effects even in adverse conditions
the final quality is that he should be real the entrepreneur must be a real person as real as it gets whatever he does he should not be a mere copycat should create things honestly ethically creativity and ideation of this creativity must be there these are the qualities characteristics of an entrepreneur this is what makes you a successful entrepreneur the 12 qualities of entrepreneur are effective communicator negotiator an exceptional negotiator teams should be a team man team leader risk taking ability and also take responsibility to it emotional quotient eq people's person doing good to the people working to give best products and service to the people rq relationship quotient being energetic networking ability good knowledge of economics about money uplifting the people around him and also being unambiguous must be a real person innovator creator not just a copycat now that makes you an entrepreneur well what do you think do you have any of these qualities let me know write the qualities which gives you an edge to being an entrepreneur comment in the section below like and share the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you